Hey there guys, I am Sonic Ghost, and welcome to another bonus episode of Let's Play Banjo-Tooie. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at all the different cheats that you can enter into the code chamber in Banjo-Tooie. Now, to start things off, I want to go ahead and talk about how the cheat codes here work in Banjo-Tooie. So normally, we would unlock cheats in this game from collecting Cheeto pages and learning them from Cheeto himself. There is the homing egg cheat you get from Stop and Swap, and then... There is also an extra cheat you can get in Witchy World thanks to Grunty's fortune telling tent to also use the signs in Jiggy Wiggy's temple in order to read hints for the Jiggies in this game. These are all cheats you can natively unlock here in Banjo-Tooie, but there are more cheats than just that you can go ahead and use in this game. But there is also another thing you can do with the cheats I've already just mentioned here. So here we have all the cheats unlocked from getting all the Cheeto pages and learning them from their natural ways here in Banjo-Tooie. So if you want to use any of these cheats that we can unlock in Banjo-Tooie, there is a way you can go ahead and do that early. So on a fresh file here, I don't have any cheat codes unlocked at this point. I have no Cheeto pages, so I can't use any cheat codes here in the code chamber just yet. But I can go ahead and enter one of our codes here that we unlocked in Banjo-Tooie early by typing in the words Cheeto and whatever your cheat you want to enter in backwards. So in this case, I'm spelling feathers backwards. Using a Cheeto cheat like this will allow you to enter any cheat code that you want in Banjo-Tooie that is in the game, which will include the cheat codes you learn from Cheeto. So entering in feathers backwards will unlock the feathers cheat for us to use. But there's a caveat to this. On the Xbox 360, using a Cheeto cheat will disable your saving and now your score will not be posted to leaderboards. So using any Cheeto sheet in Banjo-Tooie on the Xbox 360 version is a little more limiting because of how your saving progress just completely turns off. This isn't a big deal on the N64 version of Banjo-Tooie as using any Cheeto sheet in the N64 version, it doesn't really matter as these will stay permanently unlocked on your save file. The game will still save, but on the 360 version, to prevent cheating on the leaderboards, they disable saving whenever you use a Cheeto cheat. So if you want to use these cheat codes earlier in the game instead of unlocking them from Cheeto or from Stop and Swap and such, here are all of the cheat codes that you can go ahead and enter in backwards here in Banjo-Tooie to unlock earlier on. Just remember you cannot save once you use these cheat codes. Now that we've taken a look at all of our cheats we unlocked natively in this game spelled backwards, it's time to look at the cheats that you can't unlock in Banjo-Tooie normally. So starting off here, we're going to be typing in the cheat Super Banjo. The Super Banjo cheat here will actually make Banjo-Kazooie move much faster in this game. So if you want to play a turbo mode of Banjo-Tooie, this is the cheat code for you. This is a very fun cheat to experiment around with, and it's great for speeding through this game. But it does make things a little bit harder to control, which is how much faster you're moving. Just remember, if you're playing the 360 version, you can't save at all since this is a Cheeto cheat and your savings disabled now. So this is not really a cheat I recommend playing the whole game through on, at least on the 360 version. This is one of those cheats that's just fun to play with every once in a while. So do keep that in mind. But now with that cheat enter, let's just go ahead and go over to the cheat port here and turn it on just so we can see how big of a difference that fast banjo really makes to Banjo-Tooie here. So turning on the fast banjo cheat, we move a lot faster now. This is double the speed we were moving before. Even our attacks get sped up. Kazooie especially moves so much faster using this cheat code. It is insane of how fast you move with this cheat. But say you want to go ahead and make the enemies in this game move faster too to compensate with your new speed using the super banjo cheat. Entering in the Super Baddie Cheat here will make the enemies in Banjo-Tooie move much faster as well. Now, if you want to be honest, this cheat code isn't nearly as useful, in my opinion, as the Super Banjo Cheat. Because this one's supposed to make your journey a lot harder. Being a cheat that's basically a hard mode in a way, but using Super Baddie and Super Banjo Cheats at the same time, they kind of negate each other in a way, so... When the enemies move faster and you move faster, things don't really feel that much different. So I recommend using the Super Baddie cheat by itself and not using the Super Banjo cheat with this one turned on as well. Then you'll actually get a challenge since the enemies will be able to actually catch up the Banjo a lot easier now using the Fast Baddie cheat. 
If I turn this cheat code on, we can actually see the speed increase here with these enemies, just in the code chamber alone. So as you can see now, these guys do run a lot faster. If we weren't using the Super Banjo cheat, it would be a lot harder to outrun these guys. With the cheat on, this is no different compared to normal speeds, but... These guys are definitely a lot faster, so you have to be careful now, if you're just using Super Baddie. Let's say you're taking too much damage in this game, and you're just done with the health bar system. You want to have infinite health in this game. Well, there's a cheat code for that. Entering in the Honey King cheat will give you infinite life and infinite health in general, so you don't have to worry about dying at all. And this is great for this reason, because... Using this cheat code will allow you to never take damage and you will never drown as you won't have to worry about your air depleting either. This cheat code basically just gets rid of both the health bar and the air meter in general. So this cheat code is very broken. You thought the other cheats in this game we have related to health are broken, the fall proof and honey back cheats. You haven't seen Honey King. Honey King is basically those other two cheats on steroids. So turning on the no energy or air loss cheat here. It basically makes the game impossible to lose, since there is no way for us to die now unless we jump into a bottomless pit. That is the only way now we can die using this cheat code. As you see here, running into this enemy, I take no damage whatsoever. I don't even have a health bar at this point, so it won't even show up. And leaving this area to find ourselves a pool of water. For starters, we can see how much faster we move in the water using the Super Banjo cheat. Keep in mind though, the Super Banjo cheat only speeds you up on the surface of the water. Once you dive under the water in general and swim under here, your speed is the same as it was before. But now, we don't have an air meter to worry about anymore, thanks to the Honey King cheat. So now we're never drowning again, which is basically what we had in Jolly Roger Lagoon, but now in the entire game, which is great. But say, having infinite health isn't enough for you, you want more. Entering in the Nest King cheat here will give you infinite eggs and infinite feathers. Basically making this game a non-issue when it comes to any kind of collectible on you. And this is great for this reason. Nest King is actually a cheat code we knew about already playing this game. Because the Nest King cheat, they actually hinted towards back in Jiggy Wiggy's temple. One of the signs you can read behind this temple hints at this cheat code in the game. And it's the only cheat that we're looking at here in today's video that is mentioned in Banjo-Tooie itself. So, out of all the cheats, this is probably going to be the only one you're going to be able to figure out on your own in the game if you're not looking up these cheats online nowadays. But, entering in the Nest King cheat here, we're going to go ahead and turn this on and we'll immediately get an infinite supply of eggs and feathers. So now this cheat basically makes both the feathers and eggs cheat in this game completely useless because now you don't have to worry about your numbers ever again. Now we have 999 of all feathers and eggs. So... You can just break this game apart now, having an infinite supply of ammo. It definitely makes this game a lot easier to have basically no health and no ammo to worry about whatsoever. This is an insane combo if you ask me. The next cheat we're going to go ahead and take a look at here is a cheat that's kind of useless for the save file that we're playing on now, but this is great for a brand new save file. Entering in the cheat Jiggy Wiggy Special will open up all the worlds here in Banjo-Tooie. So, because I am playing on a save file that already has explored every world in the game, the cheat code isn't going to do anything here because the worlds are already all open. But if you're playing this on a fresh file where you've only explored the first world here in Myham Temple to get to the code chamber, this cheat code makes it possible for you to go everywhere in the game, which will include the final boss battle. So, as long as you get access to those said worlds, you can just go wherever you want and play these worlds in whatever order you want to. This cheat code is great for playing this game out of order. But it's honestly not a code I can recommend using on the 360 version because of the whole saving disabled thing. This is a better cheat used on the N64 version since this will be saved so you don't have to worry about jiggies ever again. At that point you're just trying to collect all the moves you need to beat the game and then just playing whatever levels you want. Using the all world door open sheet here, again, useless on this file, so we're not going to be showcasing it here. Instead, I'm going to be showing this on a fresh file here, which is a handful of jiggies collected. And here in Jolly Roger Lagoon, as you can see, the way is opened up, and we have enough jiggies to open it naturally, but it's just open already. Hailfire Peaks, on the other hand, we don't have enough jiggies to open this world up, but the entrance is already open. So we can enter Hailfire Peaks with only 8 jiggies, which is insane. 
Now for our last two cheats to look at here in this video, these are both cheats that will actually still save your game on the 360 version, so these cheats are actually useful in the HD port of this game. So this cheat that we're entering now, play it again, son. This unlocks everything in the replay mode in Banjo-Tooie. So we already took a look at the replay mode here in a previous bonus episode. And for those of you who haven't seen that video, basically the replay mode is a collection of all the mini games, boss fights, and even the cutscenes in Banjo-Tooie. By default on a fresh save file on the 360 version or a very, very fresh save file on N64 cartridge, this has basically nothing in it. The replay mode is something you unlock things in as you play the game. And once they are unlocked in replay mode, this is a permanently saved thing on your file. So on the N64 version, I don't find the Play It Against Sun cheat as useful. As most cartridges you're gonna find a Banjo-Tooie nowadays have some, if not all, the stuff unlocked in replay mode already. So this is a more useful cheat on the 360 version, especially that it does allow you to still save the game. So this cheat code, you can get everything unlocked right away, even if you haven't beaten the main game of Banjo-Tooie at all yet in your copy of Banjo-Tooie. So if you don't want to play any more of the game, and you say you want to fight the final boss via the replay mode, you can do that using the Play It Again Sun cheat. It is a cool little thing you can go ahead and do, just unlock the stuff early. I don't find it that useful personally, but it is cool that you can go ahead and unlock the stuff early if you want. The last cheat we're going to be taking a look at here, Jiggy's Cast List. This is basically the same thing as what we just entered with the Play It Again Sun Cheat, except this only unlocks the character parade in replay mode, nothing else. This cheat I find to be the most useless out of all the different cheat codes you can enter here in Banjo-Tooie, and that's just simply because the Play It Again Sun Cheat will also give you the character parade option in replay mode as well. In fact, if you use the Play It Again Sun Cheat before you've entered in the Jiggy's Castlet Cheat, Jiggy's Castlet will not work at all anymore, as you already unlocked the character parade using Play It Again Sun. So, this cheat code, if you enter one cheat in already over the other, is completely useless. And if you do use it, it only unlocks one thing, so you might as well just use the Play It Again Sun Cheat instead. If you want to just watch the character parade and nothing else in the replay mode, then sure, go ahead and use this cheat, but honestly, compared to the other option that can unlock everything else in replay mode, you're better off using the other cheat code. Just use Play It Again, son, and get everything unlocked instead. And keep in mind, once you unlock the stuff in replay mode, that is unlocked permanently in your Banjo-Tooie game. So... You don't have to worry about entering these cheat codes ever again. So just use Play It Again, son, if you're going to be using one of these two cheats to unlock stuff in replay mode. As Play It Again, son, will unlock the character parade too. Jiggy's Castle is I just find completely useless out of all these cheat codes. That is all the cheat codes you can go ahead and enter here in Banjo-Tooie. There are more cheat codes you can obviously use in Banjo-Tooie with something like a Game Shark. But we're not going to be covering those kind of codes in this video, as I want to really just take a look at all the cheat codes that you can enter into the code chamber here in Banjo-Tooie. It is a little sad that all of these Cheeto cheats will disable your saving in the 360 version, but after you've seen how some of these cheats work, like the Honey King cheat for example, you can understand why they had to disable saving and turn off leaderboards in general. These cheat codes can be really, really broken for Banjo-Tooie. So having the Honey King and Nest King cheats on especially, and uploading your high score to the leaderboard, it would have definitely messed things up without hackers getting involved, so I can see why savings disabled, but because of that, these Cheeto cheats I don't find nearly as useful in the 360 version as I do for the N64 version. These cheat codes in the N64 version are amazing. Since you don't have to enter those codes ever again, they just unlock once when you enter them into the code chamber for your file, and the game can still save using these codes on the N64 version. These codes can do so much to break the game, and it's really fun to play the whole game using a lot of these cheats. So I definitely recommend on the N64 version especially, try a whole playthrough using these cheat codes and just see how the game goes. It's a whole different kind of beast playing this whole game using the Cheeto cheats, which is how 
busted these cheats are in general. And it's a lot of fun to play through the game like this. But with that said, thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you guys next time.